know this may go I can't fiscal court to order. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Helen Deaver if she will do the prayer and place the flag. <coughs> Head, please. Our Heavenly Father bless this meeting uh, tonight. Make sure that they uh, have their hearts in the right place. Um, reach your arms around the coast. Looks like we're uh, going to be hit pretty bad down in around Florida area. Uh, put your arms around everybody that's here tonight and just uh, give them an extra blessing or an extra hug. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Gentlemen, I have before you the uh, September 24th minutes and a motion to approve. So moved. Motion by Michael McKinney. Second. Second, Brian Daniel. Is there any discussions, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Opposed, uh, like sign. The minutes are approved. Before you have a bill to claim payments and transfers, including a late list. Need a motion for that. A motion. Motion by vote in. To approve the minutes. No. I'm in the open plan. No second. Okay, I'll second. Any discussion? And what's this uh, medical kit, North American Rescue? Uh, Kentucky ASAP gives out grants, and they awarded a grant to the Sheriff's Department for medical kits for them to have in the back of their vehicles for citizens. They're, they're typically first on the scene. And what's the uh, American? Corpse host speed, beach 700. What's that? Uh, that's at the senior center. They have an AmeriCorps uh, employee, and that's what they have to pay if you want to explain it to get an employee for the what years. The AmeriCorps employee at the senior center. Oh, uh, that's a program where you can get an employee for, is it the full time? Mm -hmm. For um, 50 something. $57,000, about $100, yeah, it's, it's all and they essentially, you're paying them hardly nothing and they work full time. Any other discussion? Bill, thanks, thanks for transfer before we vote. More questions? All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Bills are paid. Uh, now we're going to go out of order just a little bit because we've got some folks here from the National Weather Service. And uh, Charlie Shields, you uh, go ahead and come up. Well, I'll let him do the presenting mic. Hello everyone, I'm Mike with the National Weather Service and uh, one of the things that we do besides doing forecasts, watches and warnings for storms is we certify counties to become storm ready. And storm ready is a program that looks over in conjunction with emergency management and Charlie's been a great uh, partner of ours that looking for multiple ways to receive warnings during active weather, multiple ways to push out warnings for the county and, and other folks to know that hazardous weather is coming your way and other community preparation programs. So uh, Charlie has been able to meet all of the, uh, in Ohio County, has been able to meet all of the uh, requirements to become storm ready. So 
you're one of about 70 counties here in Kentucky to go through this process. So it's a kind of a big deal. Um, you guys are able to be recognized by the National Weather Service as uh, having your stuff together and uh, you're, you're storm ready. We can't make you storm proof, unfortunately, and make the tornadoes go away. But when they do, you're ready to go. So Charlie, congratulations, Ohio County, congratulations on uh, becoming storm Thanks, ready. Sir. So you get yourself a sign right here. And from the Weather Service, the guys in the office, this is uh, commemorating your achievement here today. And um, it's an honor to work Thank with you. So congratulations. Thank you. And uh, I don't know if you want a picture or anything to commemorate, but uh, you're more than welcome to if you want, would like. Yeah. Yeah, you go stand there. She's going to get it from. Look, look this way if you don't care. So you when you All right. You want to do that? Go ahead and look that way, Dane. Yeah. There we go. Uh, move your there. My hair is messed up. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Thanks, sir. Yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. I, I told y'all that Charlie actually did this time. See? Don't we believe that? <laughs> Judge, we got Thank you, sir. We have some people here from the uh, Beagle Club. Uh, we're going to try to get them on the agenda, and I didn't. Would they be able to go a little earlier, or can you work them in? Give them through about three minutes. Okay. Whoever wants to speak for him, come on. Up. He didn't know I started preaching this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three uh, minutes. Three minutes. All right, start the clock, Brandon. Uh, yeah, you guys all know uh, who I am. Uh, I wear a lot of hats today. I'm here to represent the Bull Run Beagle Club and this group of your citizens back here behind us. Uh, Bull Run Beagle Club, we've been in this county 25 years. Uh, we've donated to uh, local charities in the county. We've kept our money here in the county. Uh, through those 25 years, it's been a little bit of a battle. Uh, sometimes with the uh, other Beagle Club located at the park, the Ohio County Owensboro Beagle Club, we've tried to do things and work with them. And, uh, and I want to thank the park. I thank the county for opening up the park and allowing us to run our dogs out there. But times uh, come in, it's hard to find land. We appreciate that. The problem, the issue here is now, and it's been brought to Mr. Morphew's attention, that uh, one of the citizens that's here tonight, Mr. Murphy, was recently ran off uh, by a member of the Owensboro High County Beagle Club in the fenced-in area. I know we've talked about that before at court meetings out there. Uh, he was from a Davis County citizen and ran one of our Ohio County citizens off uh, from the Ohio County Park. Uh, I have a little issue with that. I think we can handle situations like that better because uh, these folks here, there's probably more in this crowd tonight that's uh, members of that club that's from Ohio County that run Citizen Off. Uh, so that's concerning. I know the park has an agreement with that Beagle Club and that fenced in area. One time we, Justin, I know, looked that up. Uh, we had to review that yeah, again. Yeah, to look at it again. Uh, but I would seriously inquire the court to look at that agreement and see really, uh, is that necessary? And the fenced-in area that they have back on the back side of the park property, is that necessary? I know at one time that club was prominent, brought in a lot of national events. Those days have since passed, while our club continues to bring in national events. The hotels here in Ohio County will be full this weekend with an event we're having that's got pretty well probably 75% Ohio County citizens as uh, members. Where that club, I could, I'd say it's a whole lot lower percentage. So. As that being county property, I would like to see the court either do away with that agreement or put some amendments in that agreement to where that property can be more shared and doesn't give one, I'm, we don't want all the rights to it. We understand that's not what we're here asking. We're here for equal rights uh, to that property and not to be ran off by Davis County citizens at our County uh, Park, and that's uh, yeah. oh, I know Larry maybe have a few words on that as well. Uh, that's I can answer and tell you why that is. Uh, this organization came to us many years ago. I was at the park, and they were very productive for the county in, in events, and they wanted that area. They the one that built it. They're the ones that uh, keeps it uh, the rabbits uh, healthy. They're the ones that put the food plots out. You know, they, they do it all. And that's a very small section of the park. Everything else is open. 
and that's so they can have their their trials and they do all the expense of taking care of them. And not to dispute, but I think you would agree with me that that has since passed some of that club. It's not near. It's not as prominent as it was. was. But they do still maintain. And, 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 I, and I'm not against totally against the agreement. I just don't think it's right for a citizen from Davis County to tell a citizen from Ohio County, you've got to leave. Well, uh, the, the leadership, a lot of the leadership's from here too. We have a lot of people from Ohio County. The president, I believe the president is, lives in Davis County. In Davis. Right? I think that's correct. That's all I got. Thank you guys. I have a Reason. copy of it and it, it was commencing in 2016 and it's to be a dollar a year and can be voided the way I'm reading it at any time. But we have never, since I've been on the court, updated this as far as I know. Yeah, like I said, it, it's worked good. It's agreement between the park who runs it, takes care of it, and the and that group. And uh, like what said, is there to take care? They of get they they keep food plots in there. They actually feed during the winter if there's a bad time, uh, and they keep the fence itself maintained. And in uh, rare occasions, they even have stock. Is there uh, a contract we can look at? There no. I've got it right here. This is. Larry said, "Do you need this, Larry?" Larry said, "I haven't looked to see as far as the term, as far as it, it's an unsigned one." Larry has there, uh, but I was looking to see what the termination clauses were. I hadn't got to it yet. Well, you, you might want to hear the other groups' uh, ideas too. Okay, well, thank you, Josh. We need to probably put this on the agenda for another meeting. Well, I need to table this. Get us. Well, no, there's not, we're, we're not, not entertaining doing business on it now. We don't have the <laughs> information, but I will tell you it's a very fair Can we just get a copy of the? I'd like to table this issue, though, for another meeting where we can have the uh, the other people present. So, so what you're, you're saying, saying is they can come from Davis County and run taxpayers off from like they're, 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 they're the ones that felt they wouldn't even be there if they had put it there. The, uh, we have the clerk's report for the August 24th. I, a, I made a motion for a second to table this for another Well, the, it wasn't on the floor. It wasn't a motion made. So it don't have to be. Could he not make one? Yeah. Not to table it because it's not on the floor. You say it's not on the agenda, Larry. Okay, let's move on to uh, the clerk's report for transfer of 2024 tax payers. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, it's just, just going on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I need to sign on the contract. Yeah, I thought it was it. This one. No, I'll do that. The, the 2024 financial report from the clerk. We need to show that we receive that. Huh. Y'all want to recognize we got the clerk's uh, 2024 financial report? M motion, but both Motion, we received. There a second. Second. Second by Michael. Any discussion? Being that, all in favor say aye. aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion back. The next one is the clerk's report for transferring 2024 tax bills. Second. Motion by Michael. Second. Second by Brown. <coughs> Any discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. Uh, yes. Opposed like sign. Motion back. Do you have the bid? I sure speak it, Brown. I do not. Do you have it, Adam? What's that? Yes, sir. <coughs> Is there only one?
Would you mind coming up here and uh, standing behind uh, with, uh, with uh, Jason? Y'all open that reading. Vehicle bed here. This is one we're paying for with the uh, house bill money. Okay, so this is from Don Franklin. Y'all got the one? Yes, sir. That's all we got. Don Franklin Chrysler Dodge Durango. Um, <coughs> $42,808 is what it says here, and that's with all the options. That's I wish I could buy one of them for that. <coughs> I'd go get her today. How much was it, Jason? Uh, $42,808, but that's with all the options on it, too. Uh, and um, uh, Jason, when you say all the options, is that equipped for the road for no. not for the sheriff's department? Uh, so, Adam, are you going to seek, you know, I'm sure you're probably getting ready to decommission one. Are you going to see taking the equipment out of that? We, uh, or so we don't have. I don't have enough cars to decommission right now. We're we're actually car poor. Gotcha, gotcha. So we're, we're I'm in a car right now. It's got over hundred thousand miles. I'm having to get my new cars out to the guys who are actually working <clears throat> to outfit a car just to put the equipment. It's about nineteen, sixteen, nineteen thousand dollars. And you got seventy two hundred more in this. Yes. Sir. Or was it, well, which was it? Was it fifty or sixty? Wow. He's got 65000 Well, you got enough in there to he's do got, it. Then. He's got enough to For it. everything. That's the reason we yeah. had to go to Tahoe. We had to go to Dodge because it was a lot cheaper. So that way yeah. we can make that work. What's it cost you? I didn't get that to It's about $19,000 to upgrade a, a police car these days. <coughs> With all the technology to save the officer and give something that But that, he has enough to do it. Yes. The Tahoe's went up to went up $10,000 from last year. So they'd be 50-something thousand now? 50, about 57,000. That's why I wondered why you, because the last few bids have been Tahoe's. Yeah. Can't afford it. Uh, okay. I think that's what we need this to say, This says that in your budget and your overall outfit is the difference and take it out of your budget direct. Well, he, in in this budget here for this, he's got You want to look at this if you have seen it? You're pleased with it? Yes, I'm pleased with that, yes. Because this is cheaper than what we've done in the past, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, do we need a motion to accept that bid? I make the motion. Motion by Larry Murphy. I'll second his bid. Second by Jason Bolt. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Is any discussion? Any discussion? Being none on favor, say aye. 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 Opposed like saying. Go by it, Adam. Go get her. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> okay, what we've been, we've been in a committee meeting for the last hour on item seven, so I guess I'm listening for a motion, how that would read, or if you want Justin to read how the motion should be, and somebody okay to make it. Well, as 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 the courts know, as the courts aware, we passed an ordinance, uh, solar ordinance uh, that was amended to reflect some some individuals on a smaller scale uh, now on the larger scale uh, there's a possibility of a project uh, they've sought uh, some uh, amendment of the ordinance not necessarily all its terms but more on a variance uh, in relation to some of their proposed possible application that may come before coming uh, I have two possible uh, amendments I'm not for sure on who wants who wants to make a motion on whether it's the ordinance remains the same with the exception that uh, someone that uh, intends to seek a license, amend a license, or renew a license uh, can, um, uh, by majority vote of quorum of the fiscal court, ask for variances in relation to this ordinance. So with the exception of any decommission of uh, bonding or surety issues, uh, those would have to remain in place and would not be amendable. Uh, but as to all other uh, application, uh, it could be they could seek a variance um, and so it would take uh, the first reading here uh, we would have to have another second reading after publication uh, but I'm not for sure if it's the uh, the will of the court is there either of course amending also the six foot fence or eight foot fence uh, uh, discussions were made on that so 
The motion would be to amend uh, the prior ordinances as it relates to the solar energy uh, system requirements uh, uh, as proposed on this date, and then you can add six or eight foot, whichever you wish. Do I have a motion? Uh, I'll make a motion. Motion by both bent with six foot fence. Yeah, with six okay. With six I'll second Bo's motion. Second by Jason. Is there any further discussion? And basically you said this is the same ordinance we already had, except we can make a case-to-case -case basis. Yeah, similar to uh, in a city planning and zoning, uh, there are issues and that could cause one to seek a variance uh, with respect to planning and zoning, unique issues. Uh, I think the, co the company intends to propose some, uh, because of the lay of the land, uh, some modification as to how the ordinance would uniformly be uh, presented. Okay. All right. Uh, this is going to be a roll call, Miranda, because of the ordinance amendment. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Daniel? Yes. Morphew? Yes. And Kenny? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. <coughs> And uh, be sure to advertise it so as soon as we can get it off out of the uh, next Thursday. Uh, Jason, I think we shoot for next Thursday on the uh, on it. Is that the second or third? Third. 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 Well, or we could do it on Wednesday. Well. We'll just make sure we had enough time to get the advertisement in. Yeah, Wednesday would be better. <laughs> Let's do Wednesday then. Please. Wednesday's okay. the second, correct? Wednesday's the second. Thank and you, I Justin. Just, that gives us enough time keep for the seven days. You, you just got to publish it ASAP because we got to have to publish it in seven days. Can we publish it in? I mean, yeah, well, you, can. you can use an alternative form of publishing, yes, as far as like with the, the OC radio, monitor. OC monitor, yeah. And some, and some other Times News uh, website yeah. or whatever. And I will state that I know that the committee just in, in, in hearing some of your discussions, there was also the protection of the, of the residents and also in, in, in their rights with regard to what may be uh, beside them as far as the residents and reclamation. That's what we wanted to make sure that, you know, that was taken care of. Yeah. Judge, I'm going to be out of town. Can I vote by phone? No. Oh, okay. Can't vote by, by phone. However, it is, uh, it, it, it would take a majority of the court as opposed to quorum with regard to an ordinance amendment. So you'll be gone Wednesday? Yes. Won't be back until Saturday. Can everybody else be here? Yeah. I'm fine with, I mean, what, whatever we need to do. Yeah, well, we passed unanimously, so surely we'll get four votes. I would vote for it if I was here. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Well, next uh, Wednesday we'll have it at 4 o'clock, guys. That's as early as you can get here in the midnight. And that's as early as you can get here, Jason, right? That's fine. 4 o'clock. It's okay with the 4 o'clock sign. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, who's got, the, who's got the stuff on the golf cart? I've got the stuff in the golf cart. Bo and I have been sitting here looking at it. And honestly, there's something we found that's been brought to our attention about an interest charge, you know, so we want to look into it. I hate to, but can we add this next Wednesday too to the, and give us a few more days to see what's going on with this? You're just gonna, have you accepted the bids and just table them for consideration? Is that what? Well, have you, so. as, as long as this was a part of the, the, the prior bids were tabled last time, right? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. So when it's still doing it tonight, we'll do Can it. we do it next Wednesday call. too? Just real, that's a, on the agenda. I hate it, but there's something we've been. Please. There's an interest we're looking at. We don't understand it right now. We want to figure I out what's going on. Please. So this table until Wednesday. Yes. Okay. Sounds like a winner to me. Okay. Uh, do I have a, I have some personnel things? I have some higher. Uh, 
Uh, effective immediately, we want to hire Nicole Sweeney. Uh, effect, well, effective date 922. Um, because you always use your Sunday date before you. And it's at the park, level one, $13.99 an hour, a part time clerk assistant. Roll call. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Daniel? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKay? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Is there anything, any other? Here's another. There's that. The next one is. Park. Also, we have another part-time clerk, Betty Bolin, uh, level one, 1584. Uh, no, wait, that should have been 1399. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm changing it. 1399. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry. Who's the name again? Betty Bolin. Betty, Betty Bolin. Bolin. Uh, 1399. These are open positions, so roll call on. Bennett? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Daniel? Yes. Morphew? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Did you have effective on that one? I didn't get that. I'm sorry. A what? The effective. Effective date. Right. Effective date, 9, uh, 915. Okay. Thank you. The, uh, another thing we've got, Nick is still here. Nick, if you don't mind, move up here. I'll, I'll, I'll talk for you, but if you can, you can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Um, as you know, or most of you know, we've had a little truck trouble at the garage. Hope we get remedy. But uh, we needing, we're needing to buy a new truck, and we've got a payment plan figured out. He can keep it a single axle truck three years. And he's guaranteed half of it back. Yep. So Ann's checked with Keiko, and we can make payments only on the half that we're not going to get back. So we'll keep it three years. We'll have half of it paid off in three years. Then we sell it and pay the rest of off. And we're guaranteed to sell it for half of what we get for it. Similar to the, the similar to like Mac only long like the Mac like program. And keep in mind, on the Max we make money. Yeah. So if we probably will not lose half of this on yes. sale in three years. And but he, right now, it's all under he, warranty. Yeah. Yeah. Don't call us on the Mac program. Is good. Right now, uh, what he'll need to do is just permission to advertise for bids on it. Motions? Yes. I'll make the motion. Motion by Bob, Section by Larry. I hope this program works out as good as that. I hope it does as good as the Mac program <laughs> then. Uh, Traxel program. Uh, on Thursday, I uh, close like that. Get your head paper. Right. And next meeting, we'll buy. Uh, of course, uh, it'd be highly unlikely to get more than one bid because the bid will say for the program where half of us come back. Yeah. Uh, I believe we're ready for this. Uh, we're going to go for a very short closed session. And I'll ask Rip to join us. Make a motion to close session. I'll make a motion to close session. Motion to Jason. Second. 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 Larry. Second. Larry. Thank you. Uh, getting ready for committee reports. Uh, I want to give you a report on something that you may or may not know. Uh, the, our road department, yeah, Nick is still here to hear this. <coughs> they have started, th they've gotten two rounds on mowing this year, even though we had complaints. Two rounds is about all we ever do. This time he's done two and a half rounds, and, and it's going to mow another two weeks. So he's going to get three-fourths of them the third trip. 
and that's just really good to do <coughs> even with tractor trouble and and all this rain of course the Johnson grass and stuff is somewhat uh, makes it out of control we're probably going to try to do more fraying next year uh, get more of the intersections and things need a motion to go back and motion yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to go back and take yeah. I'll second motion. Who made it first? I'll first. Who second? Second. Second by both. Jason both. Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 We're back to motion. Well, that was just off the record. I was bragging on Nick. I didn't really want to do that officially anyway. So we did probably without out of court. His hands are Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, then the, uh, the next is any other committees from Maine? Jason, you want to report on the one year, the big adventure uh, uh, committee did out to Clark a couple weeks ago? Oh, the, the suicide awareness walk. It yeah. was, was number, I was it five? I want to say it was five. Five, yeah, yeah number five. That we do in September every year, so we, we were able to, and. I think they said there were 300 people. <coughs> it was not this weekend. But the following weekend, so yeah, it was the first yeah, first weekend, first weekend. in September, yeah. and uh, we we partnered with the Ohio County Health Department. I mean, the Health Coalition now, so they're they're partnered with, and it's a it's always a nice event. Yeah, it, it was pretty good. We mm -hmm. we we had a Health Coalition meeting last week and kind of looked it all over, and we're already starting plans for for next year. It was really good, and uh, like I said, I think there were. 300 people that they that registered but we, we quickly realized we need to figure out a better way to get people registered because we don't think we think there were more people there that didn't register yeah, it saying was, that they were there so uh, yeah. but uh, it was a good crowd and, and people enjoyed it and have already talked about hey we want to do this again and we want to get involved and so uh, we're we're looking forward to, to another year of it uh, I enjoyed my part of it I was representing government and I'd say if anybody asked about what your government looked like I held up a mirror from looking at that you are your government and that's true we also had Jerusalem Ridge last weekend yes the show was it was it was nice well ran not well attended you know I wish it was more attended. you know I'll just be honest with you it wasn't attended and maybe the, the, the weather because it was supposed to rain on it was a nice <coughs> event uh, you know, hopefully we can start looking into how to promote that a little bit. The promotion part is what the event itself, it was not. Nice. You couldn't ask for a nicer event, prettier atmosphere, but uh, we got to work on the promotion part of it. But it's, uh, I know the, the, the Friday I worked, I counted over 20, 20 different states and uh, Canada was the other. So uh, it was a nice event where we'll get together and hopefully we can make things work for next year. I got to spend the whole uh, weekend up there. Uh, I think it was all perfect except promotion and sponsorship. We need more money for uh, sponsors and we need more advertisement or whatever it takes to promotion to get people in. Any other committees reporting? Yeah. Yeah, we, say, Charlie, we need to set up the committee on the uh, landfill services. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to get a date, I think, Maybe yeah. Mr. McKinney, Michael, you on that one? I think. Uh, yeah, I believe he's on the family with us. So at least. Okay. Yeah, do that. Get us. Be, be ready to report back at the next regular meeting. Not our special call next week, but the one after that. Yeah. So I got two things for y'all tonight. One is from the. May the 26th tornado that went through Muhlenberg County. Uh, we went down there and we helped Muhlenberg County out. And we also had damage here in Ohio County. Uh, so I just want to give you all some update on some FEMA numbers that we should be getting back. And along with that, I'm going to explain something else. Uh, the road department, the, our take on that was $119,558. Now, when that's going to come in, we all know how FEMA is. We don't know if it's going to be tomorrow, next week, next month, or how it is. That's what the paperwork we already submitted. Along with that is, we uh, took some volunteers to Muhlenberg County 
to help them out for a day and a half. And with that being said, I went to Millenburg County on this. They turned in our FEMA work to them. And we should, Millenburg County, when they get their money, they should be writing us a check for $5,589.35. With that being said, I would like for the court to, and this ain't gonna cost y'all, because we, it's all the volunteers, is with the mounted search and rescue team, we've been trying to get this guy to come in from North Dakota to teach a class for us. Uh, there's only one other agency in the state of Kentucky has it, and we'd like to do the second. And it's also would be enough money to have this guy come in and buy the death binder for the drownings for our rescue boat on that. So the $5,500 when it comes in, I just like to be obligated to the equipment slash training for that. Yeah. And I don't know how that works. You need motion to advertise? Now that we've already got all the paperwork done, I just like the $5,500, but I know when it comes in, it'll come into Ann and she'll ask where does it need to go and we'll have to bring it back to the front of y'all. And I just like to go ahead and get that part done and that way we can make that happen when it comes Whether in. Whether it's next month or next year. Whether it's next month or next year, we're willing to wait. It's just the way we found to have this class without us coming to y'all and asking y'all for money. Like somebody, well, Nick's already left, but anyway, like other people does. A budget transfer is what we take right in. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do it, get it for you. Read that form motion. I yeah. like motion. So move. Second. Both. Yeah, I'll second. Okay. Motion by Larry, second by both. Thank y'all guys, appreciate that. And also with that other thing is, Cameron Lane's reached out to me. We got a vote on that first. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Post like, okay, go ahead. Okay, Cameron, Cameron Lane's reached out to me a few, about a month and a half ago, about getting help to clean up the back behind Cameron Lane's, because we all know what Cameron Lane's does, nonprofit and all that good stuff. So, they seeked out bids to do this and do that, and I talked to uh, Todd, the Republic, talked to some other people, and I'm gonna let him explain what he did on that part to really help out Cameron. Ain't that done been done once before? Well, the money, they got money, and it's just to say it's under prior management, didn't we and the money, money yeah. didn't go exactly where they it should have been. a lot of the outside with it, but they, I mean, yeah, they didn't go, inside, but not the outside. The money wasn't used where it's supposed to. But it's done now. Todd, yeah. Thank you, good evening, Judge and fiscal court members. Uh, just for the record, Todd Chamberlain, uh, Manager of Municipal and Government Affairs for Public Services. Um, we really saw this as a, a, a great opportunity to partner with a nonprofit that serves a very challenged and important group of citizens. Um, <coughs> this particular area uh, was somewhat of an eyesore. There were some issues. There, were, uh, it, there was a real need to do something about this. I was not aware of the previous information that there was something that was done inside versus outside, but regardless, um, we felt like that there was an opportunity for us to partner with the county, with Tamerlane, to get this taken care of. So, um, in conjunction with that partnership, thank you, Charlie, for reaching out to us, uh, we were able to offset just under $89,000 worth of expense to this nonprofit uh, through the donation of our hauling and disposal services wow. to manage this project. That's uh, that $89,000 in estimated expenses uh, recovered, removed 1,193 tons of debris in 116 loads that we supplied to Tamar Lane uh, through this partnership with the county and that entity. So in a, approximately 45 days. <coughs> so, um, you know, simply put, we're proud to be part of the community. Uh, not just today, but for many years to come, and uh, we're, we're excited that, we were, that this, this opportunity was presented to us, uh, and we were able to work with everybody and their leaders and our leadership to get it done. So I uh, just want to bring you the stats, bring you the details of what we did, what we are able to do. Um, they're happy. We're happy. We hope you're happy. Appreciate it. Thanks. No problem. Thank Thanks. I did it. I'm, I didn't know about that until now, so that's a pleasant uh, present report. Glad to hear that. No problem. Okay, uh, any other committees to report? 
Bing, now let's go ahead and start with the first district on the magistrate's uh, comments. No comments from the first district. Uh, Jason. I have a couple, real quick. Just, I'm going to ask some questions on post. Charlie, you're, uh, how many vehicles do we have running at the senior center right now? Five. Five running? There were uh, uh, supposedly three down, but one is being a warranty work, right? One's already yes. fixed. Okay, so one was total last <laughs> One just last needed week. a battery. Okay, one needed a battery. So we have five running vehicles, but one's getting warranty work, and the other one was total, which we just purchased the vehicle for that, right? No, we haven't yet. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but they're, they're look, you, you guys have found one they're looking into for that, right? So, okay. I just wonder because I was just acting like we didn't have vehicles for the uh, senior center and people's food wasn't getting to them. Has anybody missed a meal? No. No, but we've had to run, people's had to take their own cars. Was that by choice? No. What well, you've had to van. Because there wasn't another vehicle to go. They, they my had question, I'd heard that that was by choice. That's why I was asking that too. Well, okay. they had the vans they could take in though. But we have vehicles that run up So that yeah. is by choice or is that? The transit van? No, the red one. And the, the red van went. And the and you had two red vans, a black one. And I'm not I'm just trying to find out because there's a well, post the going one around red saying van we're not. Is the ARPA van. Yeah. And it's to do the transportation of the under the ARPA funds. And the other red van was the one that <coughs> needed a battery. We got that taken care of. But to keep from, we we used a, a park, private vehicle because the white bus, which is that giant bus, and that transit van are too big to run a meal route. You got, I mean, it's been years. Used to, we took the magistrates on a meal route. Mm -hmm. But you're talking about to go into a lot of seniors' homes who barely have a driveway because their children don't help them, you know. And, and I'm not saying, I'm just basically stating that we have vehicles that run out there. We have five mm -hmm. right now, five vehicles that run, and we're looking to purchase another one. Okay, they, they were saying that we didn't, our vehicles were down, but one was totaled, and one is actually having warranty work done on it right now. Yes, but warranty work. the last time... We did warranty work. The same problem with the two Eurosports, the, the white one that got totaled, they have to have new motors. Mm -hmm. So it was almost a year that they kept the white one before they fixed it and gave it back to us. And so I anticipate a long wait on this one too. Yeah. But they gave you one to drive, right? Pardon? They gave you one to drive in its place, right? After Charlie kept on to them, they finally did, but I don't know if they will this time or not. Hopefully. Well, we can work on it. We so, see that they got enough to run the I have, a, I have an additional question. So we have one vehicle recently totaled, and then there was another one that's <coughs> also was totaled. That was part of the fleet that, that you had to it. It's in the, the first one that was totaled was several years ago. Okay, what about the one just a few months ago? That was, there wasn't one a few months ago. There's one in, a few weeks ago. In, in pound. Well, it was a few weeks ago. It was in the impound. It's not at. Yeah, a, a dump truck runner off the road. That was last Monday. That was that last was, one. That was last Monday. Okay. Well, I just, you know, want to make, you know, it's, some of those things are beyond our, you know, we, we don't expect wrecks. We are getting warranty work done on the other vehicle, and we are, my understanding, looking at a vehicle right now that has a warranty on it. So, I just want to make sure people like that we're not neglecting buying vehicles for seniors to have, and they haven't missed a meal. No. <coughs> my understanding on, I want to ask a question about them riding their own vehicles. My understanding was that they, um, that they did it because they chose it. Now that- They didn't do it by their choice. They did it because we chose to ask them to, so we would not have to run the big white bus or the nice black transit <coughs> on now, the Now, when they did ride their own vehicles, 
Are they paid mileage? Yes, sir. Okay, just want to make sure they were paid and compensated for yes, because sir. of a situation of wreck and a warranty work of beyond our control. And, and I just, they're paid that out of your budget? Pardon? Or out of grants? Who pays them the mileage? Who pays the mileage? Yes, ma'am. And? It's out of their budget. Okay. It's out of our budget, yeah. Okay, that was my question. But their budget, some of them come from grant. We're giving so much money per meal from grad for yeah. delivering the meals. I understand. And I'm just asking questions, Brenda. It's not a good I just you saw that. I'm just trying to let people understand that we have vehicles. We are in the process of getting vehicles, and we can't help that a car ran off the road and wrecked last week, and one's in warranty work. And as a matter of fact, they were looking at one yesterday. So. Um, and just to be clear on it, I had nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not saying you did. I'm, not, I'm just wanting people I mean, to know because it was acting like we're more worried about golf carts than feeding seniors. And I, just, I was you know, as shocked as you were yeah. when I read it. I was, I'm just saying, you know, what they probably should do is they, you know, like the advice at the end of the quote, they should have called their match and ask questions. All right. That's all I have to say. Second district. Uh, uh, I think that covered it. No, no further comments from the third district. Okay. Uh, uh, no comments. Uh, I would like to invite everybody to Gundy Day this weekend. Yep. I'll be there soon. Yep. Did you find out anything about the tank getting painted? Uh, I have not, but I will. I got a hold of Senator Meredith and he hadn't got back with me. He was going to check with uh, well, the we'll, it, 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 That'd be great if they can help. It's not that much expense. Yeah. We'll get that one with you. <coughs> they help us with Before that. bad weather, maybe? Yes. Uh, Justin. Uh, no, Judge, thank you. Adam. I'll be as quick as I can because I know everybody wants to go home. So I'll pass these out to you guys real quick. <coughs> I brought y'all some paperwork to kind of take a look at real quick. I'm asking uh, help from the court here. When I came into office a year and nine months ago, I was asked by the court if you can, it was all possible, try to access the grants as much as possible can. And since that time, the Sheriff's Department has been awarded over $100,000 in grants. And I feel like that's a pretty good compliment. I'm not the kind of person to come and ask for help. I'm asking for your all's help today is we are, we're starting to see an increase in our calls. We're understaffed, we're underpaid. We went, we ran into an issue a couple months ago where we were gonna have some officers leave us for better paying, and I can't blame them. At the time of when groceries are high, they gotta take care of their families. One of those officers in particular that almost left us is, and I hate to say this, he's like a Jerry Critchlow. He's one, he's one of those that's hard to find. And when you lose these good officers to different <coughs> agencies, it makes an impact on us. And so I'm asking you guys, if you would consider helping me out with my budget as far as trying to make some funding <coughs> for us. As you can see, I've compared everything in the stats there. That is today, we've answered close to 7, 000, over 7,000 calls. And if everything keeps going the way it is, we're gonna answer over 10,000 calls by the end of this year. We're having to transport a lot of people for mental health evaluations. It takes units from the roads. And so I know this is not an easy task, but I'm coming to see if you guys can help us out in any way possible. Well, it's not necessarily about how many calls you do. Right. It's about the calls you do do because when you go, I mean, it's not like you're, you don't know what's behind the door. Exactly. You know, that, that kind of means, that means a lot, you know. I was looking at this. What about your SROs? What do they make? $26.11 an hour. They're making more than the road deputies. And I'm not saying, I'm not taking away. They have a very important job. They're keeping our kids safe. And yeah. I, I think that's and very, school very, very pays important. The school board pays that. They reimburse us. We send the bill. They send that money back to us. So, you know, like I said, this is, we are going to lose another deputy. And when you lose a deputy, it takes me over about a year to get, get him replaced, get that person on the road with the train. It's not somebody I can just hire off the street and put him on a car. 
and uh, and answer calls. And here's the other thing: we don't want just anybody in our cars. We, when we represent Ohio County, we want the best, and that's what the citizens of this county deserve. When they call 911 or they call an emergency, it should take no more than 25, 30 minutes. This coming month is going to be a bad month for us. We have deputies going on vacations and in service. I'll be working night shifts to cover so that way when the people call, because that is my job. Is I'm not saying poor people for me. I'm just saying it's, it's my job to make sure that when someone's loved ones call in the middle of the night, by God, they're going to get somebody, and they're going to get the best help they can. But we can't keep up at this rate because we are behind. And I'm, and I'm going to say I'm, I'm happy for the city of Beardham. They're fixed to go to a nine-man department, and I've got ten road units. And I'm, you know, I'm just saying I'm happy for them. I'm just asking if you guys could help me out. Um, I'm glad you brought that up because, like I said, I, you've lost a lot of your two SROs, and you know they do an important job, but they're <clears throat> you guys do too. Right. I don't know. Can we look at maybe having an administrative? I mean, a, a pay scale committee meeting next ne, before the next meeting. I am. Would you look at some numbers? But before the one in, uh, uh, not our special call, but the first is that okay? If we do that, call a special. I mean. Um, a pay, pay scale meeting yeah. before the next meeting and kind of would you look at some numbers or are you the about? chairman of that Jason I think Bo and I are both on that Bo, you're both on it. once you meet at four o'clock of uh, what's that, October 8th October 8th at four if October 8th yeah and, and that, that small break is that I'm gonna be on that week. Uh oh uh oh can we look at it the, the second the second <coughs> meeting in October yeah so 22nd Huh? The 22nd? The 22nd. Yeah, and, and the sheriff, you need to be there with them. If my wife can cross her legs, keep the baby, and I'll try, but under, there's no guarantee on that. So. <laughs> if not, you can send somebody. <laughs> okay. I'll send somebody that's my replacement then. Yeah. Okay. I just tell her she needs to wait. Okay. I do think, or I mean, schedule the meeting earlier. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it wouldn't have to be on court day. We try to do that I'll so send, you don't have to. I'll send out an email to the committee to see when Mike. Be Mike can meet before then. Okay, yeah. that, that's we, fine. We try to meet on court days with the committee. Right. That's understandable. Well, I appreciate that. Trip in. And, and listen, I thank you. For, oh, go ahead. I love our SROs. We got I mean, I really, really just there. feel like it. It when they're when they're leaving you to come to us. Right. We're we're thankful we have a B ram. That should be that. We should be having that problem. We should be well, at school, least equivalent. Right. Well, when the school board came and said we need another person, to me that's top priority. Our kids are number one. We want to make sure they're taken care of. Yeah. They're, they're taken care of, and I'll make sure every morning we have somebody at every school to make sure that when the parents drop their kids off that they're safe. But at the same time, we're taking the we're, the road units are taking an absolute beating right now, and they truly are. So, and the numbers are there. I've gave you the stats for every agency in this county, so that way you can take a home look at them and see. And if you guys have any questions, you've got my cell phone number. Please reach out to me. I'm usually up at two o'clock in the morning anyway drinking coffee. So, Larry. You can call free. So, <laughs> but I want to thank you guys for taking time. Let me come up here and talk. Thank you. Now, when's the baby due so I can schedule this meeting? Somewhere between <laughs> somewhere between the twentieth and the twenty fourth of October. With, yes, my twenty first would be a good day. Twenty first. Y'all know that baby. That's, that's my birthday. birthday. <laughs> well, just do it the week after spring break. Fall break. Spring. Fall break. I'll, I'll send that okay. in. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay, any other county official have anything for the good of the body? Not, does anybody in the general public have anything for the good of the body? I just want to really add what uh, Brian said. We're having any day Saturday, and, and I would like to see some county officials up that way. I'll be there. I know you will, Judge. I got you listed and play music. But, you know. It is a small community. It is part of Ohio County, even though it's just Dundee, and we got to go. On her note, can I just say, is there a way, to, a Google Calendar or something where we could get, even if they called the court and we put a calendar together, and they, I mean, because, like, for example, the weekend of <laughs> last week. I've been, I'll, I'll just say this. I've been saying this for 25 years, but you know the a whole lot of these events don't get talked about until seven days before they happen mm -hmm. and, that, and i'm you know like we we've got a we've got a mainly local magazine that just went to the printer literally this week and it's hard to find because i'm looking for december thing now granted there's a lot of christmas things that happen but we're putting out a first quarter one january february march 
and we've got to get events out earlier but that's more of a for everybody that's doing an event you want to promote that <coughs> for you know more than a week ahead of time you know uh that there's there's been a group that i've literally seen made their first announcement of an event 20 hours before it happened so <laughs> maybe that's for another date then. yeah i'm but, sorry yeah. you're so funny uh, so if you don't mind, most of you know me as Nick's wife, uh, Deputy Eskridge in the back, uh, but my name is Meredith Skaggs. Nick and I call ourselves immigrants to Ohio County because we immigrated here 13 years ago or so. Uh, we've had the privilege to work under three different sheriffs, and I say we because it is a family responsibility uh, when you um, have a loved one in that line of work. I know that Sheriff Wright provided you all information today, and I don't know the details of that outside of what he shared with you momentarily. Um, but of those numbers, one thing to consider and your review are the number of officers that are on the road. Uh, there are deputies who are uh, being encouraged to use their vacation time. They're never, like, that's always encouraged to take that time that they've earned. But it's hard to take that time whenever you think that you might be leaving a coworker on a shift where they might be alone. Uh, earlier when uh, Sheriff Wright mentioned uh, that he uh, has the Durango come in that he's keeping the car and he made a little offhanded comment that because he wants the guys who are working to have it. Uh, sheriff Wright is a working sheriff and he is working the road too. So having those opportunities uh, for him to be on the road and be safe matters for Adam as well as our deputies. So um, you all have been wild supporters of the Sheriff's Office and I'm thankful for that. Uh, but. The ask is large uh, for what needs to be for um, something healthy. Um, I don't worry about my husband in terms of being anxious about his job. I worry more about when he's on his dual sport bike driving across the country than when he's at work because they're excellent at what they do in Ohio County in the Sheriff's Office. They have excellent leadership, they get provided excellent training, uh, and they have excellent community support. Uh, but you can only do so much with the number of staff that are available. Uh, I'm very thankful for the grants that Sheriff Wright wrote, uh, along with uh, staff with Olivia, uh, because there was body armor that was expired for decades that they were wearing. So when Sheriff Wright asks for what he needs, uh, I do truly believe that it's because it's something that he needs in order to leave uh, an effective team. So thank you for your time and consideration of his request. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else got anything for the bill of body? Uh, Nick will tell you something. I can't top that. That's yeah. because she's already said that. <laughs> uh, about most of the stuff she said is was stuff I kind of had planned anyways. Um, so that being said, um, I'll tell you all that I've worked for three different sheriffs. And one thing that I always hear is, what do you need? I've never asked for a new car. I've never asked for equipment. I've never asked for a raise. The only thing I've ever asked for is more people. And if you really think about it, if you really start breaking down the question, there's a problem solving tool that you all can use. It's called the five whys. Why don't I have more people? We don't have the money. Why don't we have the money? I'm on number two. So I ask you tonight, whenever you go home and you're laying in bed, I want you to find three, four, and five. This is why we don't have the people we need to keep the people safe. So we're coming to you ahead of time before this becomes a problem because right now I can go across the street at Hartford and I can make more money for doing a third of the work. And I'm working by myself on a Sunday. I've done that for 10 years. Um, there's, no, there's no reason a law enforcement officer should have to do that. Um, and you are gonna see, I would almost guarantee the way that Beaver Dam and Hartford are growing, that you are gonna see a crisis at the Ohio County Sheriff's Office and the people who live here. So I'm, I'm, I'm begging y'all. Um, Judge, last week, uh, you shook my hand in the hallway and you said, I heard you leave. And I said, no, um, I think this is where I need to be right now. And you said, is there anything, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. And this is me asking you what I need. I need more people. Jason, you used to see me every day at the school. How often have you seen me this school year? And it's not because I haven't wanted to be there. I pulled in the parking lot to eat lunch there one day. And as soon as I pulled in, you may have heard the lights and sirens go off. I was on my way to a wreck in Fordsville. Um, guys, those are the facts that Adam gave you. I'm giving you the emotion behind the facts. Um, do what you can, guys. That's all, all I'm asking. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anybody else? Anything? Done. <laughs> Thank you, Nick.
because it's made a journey. See you again. Uh, our special call next uh, Wednesday at 4.